videos, more unboxings, and still trying to catch up with March boxes. So in this particular situation, I got the March and the April boxes here because I just couldn't get to actually doing the boxes. I'm trying to play catch up. So I decided I'm just going to go ahead and do both of these in one video. So this is for the Hollow Fiend boxes. And this is a new subscription to me. I just started it last month. Well, I guess technically two months ago because this is two months worth. And what it is intended to be is kind of um, a little taste of Halloween every month. So people who love their Halloween holiday and want to kind of celebrate a little bit of Halloween every month, this might be an option for you. What you want to keep in mind is that unlike a lot of Halloween type boxes out there, a lot of the Halloween type boxes out there are really more geared towards horror, scary kinds of things, horror movies, horror um, collectibles, that sort of thing, which is great. I love that too. But what makes this one a little different is that it's, definitely geared more towards Halloween the holiday versus horror. So while there may be scary things, scary items that are included in there, the idea is more about the holiday. There might be more traditional Halloween celebratory things, nostalgia items, more classic fall, autumn, Halloween stuff which I love because that is my favorite time of the year. I love that whole fall, holiday, autumnal, seasonal thing. So that was the reason I signed up for the box. I wanted to check that out. Um, and I do actually enjoy my little bit of Halloween every month. So I really liked last month's box. I actually still have the pumpkin scented car freshener in my car and it's been great coming into my car at the end of a long day and kind of smelling that pumpkin spice. Yes, I'm a pumpkin spice fan. And so I'm really interested in checking this out and seeing how well this is carried on. This is, as you can see, an unlabeled, unlicensed box. This is somebody who is new to the box, the box kind of scope and is not large scale, so it's very small, kind of mom and pop, from what I understand. Um, but if you're interested, if you're a fan of Halloween and you wanna check this out for yourself, the link is down below. Definitely see if the pricing and the other options that are available are suitable for you and something that you're interested in. We're going to go ahead and take a look at both of the months that I have backed up on here. Uh, so just keep in mind as we're looking through this that this is actually two months worth of items. Let's try, or I guess we're going to double dose on Halloween for April right now. And let's see what we got this time around. So, okay. Uh, yeah, so it looks like I am opening up the April box first because apparently I didn't read the dates first before I started slicing the tape. So we're going to look at April first and then we'll look at uh, March. And this is a pretty light box. This is all I got this time around. Pretty empty. So let's find out what's up with this then. This is a little surprising because the very first box had a lot of stuff in it, so not sure what's up with that. This seems pretty sketchy, but we'll see. All right, so we have a bubble wrapped item, and it just feels like a votive candle holder. Oh, well, I guess you could use it as a shot glass for a really big shot, but... It's a clear votive candle holder with a little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern scally face on it, which is really cute. I like decorative things like this, even though I don't always use votive candles. Um, I like using these to just put like little snacks on my desk, like little candies or whatever, or you can put beads in here just for coloration as decoration. So. I like that. 
And then the other item is kind of heavy and in this envelope, which is a little kind of random. And it's a bunch of candy. Zot's candy, which is nice. I do like Zot's candy, but I have to say that I'm really underwhelmed and it almost seems like this was a mistake. Don't know. In the past, and we'll have to check the other box, but in the with the original box, there was a spoiler card, spoiler information, and a lot of other stuff as well. So this seems unusual and I'm not really happy with this April box. So I mean literally this is this is it. So I will be contacting the person who runs this box and checking to see if that's intended because even without opening the March box, unless there's something in there that indicates what this is, this this makes me really unhappy and this, I mean, granted it's not a super expensive box anyway, but this, this is not okay. So anyway, unhappy with that, but let's check out the March box and see what that has. All right. Okay. So letter is in here and it explains it to uh, Joshua who is the person who runs this. If you see this, I apologize for my previous comment. I should have opened this one first. There is a letter in here that says, due to a shipping problem with the post office, some March boxes were returned to us instead of being delivered. To fix the issue, we have divided said boxes into several packages. Two of your items will be arriving in a separate box and should be delivered within a day or two of receiving this box. I apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. So the separation of the delivery was a bit more than a couple of days, but the quantity of items in there, the lack of the note and this explanation makes me believe that the box that I thought was the April box is actually an extension of the March box. So. We'll take a look at the cheat sheet in a second and verify that, but if that is the case, I apologize to Joshua, and let's take a look at the March box and go from there, okay? So, first thing that we have up are some old-fashioned uh, lenticular portraits, which are always fun for decorating with, and it's those ones that, you know, you have a normal kind of old-fashioned photograph and then you turn it and it changes into some. These always make me think of um, the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. I'm assuming Disney World also has it. I haven't been there yet. You'll have to let me know if you've been. Uh, but they have these all over in the Haunted Mansion, so that's always fun. And next up we have another one of these serial killer magnets and this time we've got mucky charms oh mucky blarms sorry mucky blarms and so what does it say uh arsenic frosted bloated chunks with pulpy fleshy bits yum they're tragically malicious and it includes purple earlobes now so hey can't have your mucky blarms without earlobes. Yummy. So that'll go with my other one that I got. And we have another envelope with, with, oh, some pins. Let's see what we got. We got a jack o' lantern. And we have a skull. And we have a Silver Shamrock Novelties pin. And we have a witch. Here's a witch witch. And looks like the last thing we have in here is a shirt. And it is a 
um, Wicked Witch of the West green moldy shirt color. You may think this line is getting old, but believe me, son, I want to be gold. It is a leprechaun shirt. There you go. It's kind of a Kermit green. And fortunately for me, I really like green. So this totally works for me. I can see this being a very sickly color for a lot of people. But I don't find it at all. So, all right. So taking the two in combination now, this is about more of what I was expecting. This is similar to the way that the last box was with some kind of more traditional spooky decorations and the t-shirt and some candy and some a little bit of nostalgia which is definitely more in line with what I was expecting from the box. Let's take a look at the actual spoiler card and make sure that that's what we had. Uh, so we have the jack-o'-lantern shot glass, the Halloween three button set, Pappy and Nanny O'Shea's cursed portraits, the Zots, the Leprechaun t-shirt and the Serial Colors Deluxe Magnet. So, all right. So that having all been said, I now take it back. What I was saying about being disappointed with the April box, because apparently that wasn't the April box. That was just part of the March box. So I'm totally fine with it. I absolutely really enjoy this hollow themed box. Joshua, thank you very much for giving me a little bit of Halloween in April and I am really enjoying it. So again, if you are someone who actually likes the holiday of Halloween and all of the stuff that goes around it, horror and otherwise, then you might be interested in checking out the Hollow Fiend box and getting a little taste of that that autumn holiday every month yourself. So links down below, definitely check it out. And again, I extend my apologies for making assumptions about something that I didn't look into thoroughly. So there's a lesson for everyone. Don't make assumptions, figure it out first, and then decide. So, carrying on. 